Weather well, warnings remain in place across the UK. Temperatures at night are predicted to dip below minus 10 in some areas over the weekend. This lunchtime, snow, ice and arctic winds are causing disruption across the UK this afternoon. The UK Health Security Agency has issued amber and yellow cold health alerts in England due to concerns about risks to vulnerable people. The Met Office has forecast the most severe conditions will be seen in Scotland, where amber snow warnings came into effect from midday today. While yellow warnings for snow and ice are in place for large parts of Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland. Megan Owen reports. A cold Arctic blast has kicked off the new year, sweeping across the UK and bringing with it plunging temperatures, snow and ice. Scotland is worse hit, with amber weather warnings issued in the northeast and parts of the Highlands until midday tomorrow. Roads were coated with snow this morning in Stonehaven, Aberdeenshire and here in Bolter Sound, Shetland. Yellow weather warnings for snow and ice were also issued overnight in parts of England, Wales and Northern Ireland, lifting this morning. Up to five centimetres of snow is predicted in some areas. Northern Scotland will continue to bear the brunt of snow and strong winds, but we will see a few wintry showers and maybe a coating of snow down those eastern and western fringes of the UK as those Arctic winds drive things southwards. For most though, it's dry, it's sunny, it's cold all the way into the weekend and especially cold by night, maybe minus double digits for some on Sunday morning. And the cold weather lasts into next week with a greater chance of some more widespread snow at some point. This winter scene is in Langdegla, Denbyshire and here the white rooftops of St Leonard's on Sea, Sussex. In the heart of the Peak District near Buxton, icy roads were scattered with snow this morning. People are being advised to plan routes carefully and to pack essentials in the car. Make sure your vehicle's ready. Make sure your tyres have got plenty of tread on them. Around about three millimetres in this, you know, going into the winter. The legal limit's 1.6, but we recommend more. Check your oil coolant levels. Make sure you've got enough fuel, of course, our EV charge if you're driving an electric vehicle. Perfect kit for the winter, so I've got blankets, um, food, everyone's got mince pies, yeah, everyone's got those right there left, uh, water, uh, flask, torch, additional screen wash if you need it, first aid kit in case of any slips or falls, um, blanket essentially, and a foil blanket, bits of old carpet, mm -hmm. you know, it looks over prepared, but it's really handy, and um, if you do start to lose traction, you can put these under the wheels and that will give you enough traction to get going. Temperatures in some areas have plummeted well below average, leading to amber health warnings from the UK Health Security Agency, with increased risk to life amongst elderly and vulnerable, in place until Tuesday. This cold spell is expected to be prolonged, continuing over the weekend and into next week. Megan Owen, BBC News. We're joined by our reporter Louise Hosey in West Hill in Aberdeenshire at this lunchtime. Hi Louise, it looks absolutely beautiful where you are behind you, but it can be dangerous, particularly for vulnerable people. What advice are people being given to stay safe in the coming days? Well, of course, it's just been the first few days of 2026 and we've already seen uh, this wintry weather really making its presence felt here, particularly in the northeast and northern parts of Scotland with that amber weather warning now firmly in place. Uh, people are being advised by the police not to travel unless their journey is absolutely necessary uh, and also not to ignore road closures. Uh, also to follow the advice on the Transport Scotland uh, website and make sure that if you do have to travel that you're really prepared. Now overnight we did see heavy snow uh, and that has led to some really difficult driving conditions. Uh, the Met Office is warning that up to 20 centimetres of its snow is expected on low-lying ground with up to 40 centimetres expected in some higher areas and with a northerly arctic wind that could lead to the possibility of some snow drifts uh, and also potentially blizzard conditions. Uh, there are also warnings of power cuts and a potential risk to property and life. Uh, travel wise there's also delays and disruption expected. The ferry operator uh, Calmac has said that some ferry sailings are cancelled and the train oper operator Scotrail, it says a revised service is in place.
Okay, Louise in West Hill, thank you.